you guys need a new daily driver, well, we got you covered. LSNASI.com, we're giving away this 650 horsepower turbo LS Swap Colorado. It's a five speed manual, you need it in your driveway. It's 10 times entries. LSNasty.com, bunch of brand new merchandise. Winter collection is up there. Hats, shirts, stickers, socks, you name it, we got it. Check it out, you cannot win unless you're entered. All right, what's up y'all? It is Wednesday morning here. We are going to do a 10 minute uncut update what we got going on gonna run through a couple cars in the shop. The black sheep is not in the shop. It is loaded up in the trailer. I'm about to leave here in an hour or so. Take it down to Hippie Fabrication. James Rollins, he has done a bunch of work for us before. Awesome dude, amazing fabricator. Did some big block Chevrolet turbo headers for me before. Now we're gonna task him with the next to impossible task of building zoomies on the black sheep, a full frame G body with a Hemi in it. So before we go any further, we gotta let you know the Colorado, I got it parked over here now, I've been driving it. I daily that thing, it is an absolutely amazing driving truck. Five speed manual, six liter, sorry, five speed manual, LS swap, turbo, Holly EFI in a 2010 Colorado. Thing is bad to the bone. It makes some gobs of power. Thing is way too fast for what it needs to be, but it drives great, runs cool, sounds awesome. It's got a nice cam in there complete top end package all done to it. It's got an 800 horsepower clutch. It's on coilovers in the front. It's got Caltrax, the new upgraded leaf spring in the back. It is just an absolute, completely well-rounded build that we're giving away. LSNasty.com, every $1 you spend is 10 entries to win. So go over there, you can't win it unless you're entered. We've given away nine vehicles now. This might be the 10th, I don't know exactly how many, but we've given away a bunch. This one here is, it's literally our shop truck. This is like our parts truck that we were like running around with and it is, it is bad to the bone. I need to get a video of me messing up. Like this thing will mess up any Challenger, Charger, Camaro, Mustang, like any like remotely stock. I mean, this thing will just absolutely terrorize them. I could probably, I feel pretty confident, like a, like a decent, like a five, 600 horsepower car, I think it'd be able to mess it up. So, all right, enough of that. Let's talk about what we got going on. So uh, we'll start off over here. Eddie Murphy, we got it up on, jack stands i'm gonna put some project tabs on it so it'll be easier to service i gotta do some stuff under here take that power steering rack off with the manual rack on but we got the hot side complete i'm waiting on from some steel rod to come in so i can brace the intercooler and the radiator and we just got a cage for more race chassis shout out to matt moore and the guys over there at more race chassis we uh we've worked with them before absolutely awesome stuff we're getting a 10 point pre-notch cage to go in here very, 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 very high quality stuff. Uh, we might be doing some torque boxes in it uh, later on just because that's 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 a big ass motor in that thing. I mean, the motor is the motor's no joke. So this thing right here is getting some love. We're waiting on some parts to come in and then we will get this knocked out. Probably really start plugging away on this after PRI. Uh, might have one of my buddies come up and just throw the cage in it just because I'm not a chassis guy. It is already pre-notched. It is pre-bent, so it's stick and weld, but I weld stainless aluminum titanium pretty good. I I don't have a lot of experience welding chromoly, and it welds different. And I don't want to put shitty welds on this car because it's it's going to be a very nice car. Over here, I completed the cold side last night. Uh, just a, a pretty quick dealio on this guy getting a five inch charge pipe done. Waiting on the wastegate flange and the blow off valve flange, and then we'll be able to put this Johnny on there, and and we'll be really really sitting pretty. So. I'm excited about uh, about this. The turbo kit I think looks awesome. Very happy with the weld. It's got some really nice welds on it. So I'm good with it. You know, I'm not a, a professional fabricator. I'm not professionally trained. I've just learned how to do this just by messing around. And I'm quite happy with, with how it came out. It looks great. It clears the front end. Uh, we just made an appointment at a chassis shop to get the front end hung. I really have no experience doing it. I want it done right. It's a carbon front end. It's, again, it's something that's kind of like the cage in this. I'm smart enough to know when I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not going to go out here and mess up this 
high dollar carbon front end. I will take it to a shop and let them professionally install it and we'll be good to go there. We'll have it where it goes on and off. It's already got the tree on the car, so we shouldn't really have any issues with that. So bad apple progress is coming along great. We got the front end done. We're gonna narrow the rear end, put a transmission cross member in there, and then like we're complete roller with the turbo kit complete and it will be plumbed wire. So we're getting close. We've been making strides on that. Motors in the work trucks. We got the BTR cam in this one. We got the Tick Tomax cam in that one. Uh, I got the T cam cam in the truck parked out front. And that one right there is about to get the NK performance cam. So our truck cam shootout will be going on. We're actually going to take them to the dyno on the 29th. So just before PRI. So definitely have a full plate. <laughs> it's. It's a lot. We have a lot going on and the days are flying by, but I will say we are making great progress getting stuff done every single day, getting closer to our goal of uh, right now, our main goal, our main priority is make it to PRI, running, driving, complete and showable. We want it to be nice. So I did order some stuff yesterday. I got my air motor fuel pump ordered up. It's like a 30 gallon a minute fuel pump. Uh, we have the regulator here. I have a checklist of things that we need, so I'm just going through ordering stuff, marking it off, ordering stuff, marking it off, uh, and, and it seems to be when you get done with the list, you have to add more, so that's just part of it. But we got the black sheep in the trailer, we'll just run in here, I gotta show you some header flanges that we got, we got some really nice stuff uh, for the black sheep. All right, loaded up in the trailer, looks like normal black sheep here, pulled it in backwards, going over to Hippie Fabrication, James Rollins amazing dude gonna get some fabrication stuff knocked out wanted to show you these header flanges holy shit these are nice so these are from i believe it's profab out in mooresville charlotte area if, I, if i'm not mistaken uh, these are some cnc i don't know if you could see yeah you could definitely see some cnc billet two and a half inch primary headers for the noonan superman heads it's a four eight Head. I think that's how you have to order it. Look at the size of that exhaust port. So we're sending these down to James. I got, um, uh, he's going to be mad at me. He's going to be mad. I'll, I'll show you why. We'll snake our way over here. I was going to film this last night, but it was dark out. So you guys are getting it today. We got our list taped up here. We'll go down the list real quick. Uh, fuel cell, I still need to order. Blower spacing we got done. Need to order a lower pulley and get a belt. Uh, we got to install our race tech seat, which we'll do that as soon as it gets back. We'll also run the race tech six point belts. Um, throttle linkage, no idea what we're doing there. I need to get a Morris cable, which uh, is a little bit different from like the low car cable stuff that we've run on the LS. We really should not have been running the low car cable because it does not have a, a pull push feature it's just you just push it and then if the throttle stuck you're just going for a ride the morris cable will allow you to open and close um ignition we should be running the same ignition it is msd 600 with the cdi box those mount on the roll bars so just making some new spark plug wires which i believe we have a set of diy heavy spark plug wires here we should be good to go wiring we're going to have to wire up a second injector driver box for the top set of injectors but other than that, the harness itself should plug up, maybe make a new uh, injector harness for the lower manifold, just because instead of going through the center of it, we're going to have to go on the outsides because there is no available room in the center. Um, fuel pump, uh, did not order a Rage fuel pump. Like I said, I got an air mode of 27 gallon a minute. The drive shaft fits perfect, so we got the drive shaft in there. Headers, we're going to... James Rollins, Hippie Fabrication. Today, we're doing that. Uh, cut hood. Yes, we will be cutting hood. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see that crack? This hood, I don't know what the hell is all over it. Something's all over it. Um, this hood has seen better days. It was cut out that big when we first got it. I don't know if they cut it out to put like a a big blower in there or if they just cut it out for the hemi intake but regardless uh it was cut out that big and had a cowl over top of it to kind of hide it and the cowl just looked like shit and was super thin and flimsy so we cut that out they gave us this centerpiece that came with the hood and we 
having no clue what we're doing, fiberglassed it back in and it held up good for four years. But now we will be cutting it back out. My only concern is I think this is too wide to cut it. So we might have to do some body work again. Probably not spend a lot of time on this. I have another hood, but more importantly, I, I, I'm looking to get a carbon front end for race season, just to lighten up the car a little bit. Carbon front end, carbon doors, I think that would be nice. But um, at least for PRI, we need to cut the hood so the blower will fit. Um, burn down hoses, yes. We need to put new bulkheads in the firewall for the burn down stuff and we're gonna need to make new lines off of the breathers i need to order the rcd uh, evangen style clamps so that's what uh entails for the burn down hoses oil system we need to figure out what oil filter we're running i believe this motor is going to run on nitro 70 oil which is super thick so you have to really make sure you get the correct filter that will have the correct flow so you don't have any pressure issues or restriction to the motor. So that's always fun. Uh, so we got to figure out the oil system. Uh, check brake lines, uh, oil pressure sensor and fuel pressure sensor just because we have to move those around. And very important to check brake lines if we're going to drive into PRI. Imagine this thing uncontrollable, not able to stop running into something. That's going to be terrible. So let's hope that doesn't happen. And then, like I said, install the race tech seat. I got a new one of their... Uh, 4200 seats come in and install their six point belts. Also, I do want to mention Racetech is doing a giveaway right now. So if you go over to Racetech's website and pick up anything, you get entered to uh, win a 4200 seat that they're going to select the winner at PRI, which I think is very cool. So uh, an amazing company. Someone's getting a free seat. Highly recommend it. We've had some uh, some bad wrecks lately with uh with thankfully people not getting too too hurt but i highly recommend you guys uh, evaluate your race program evaluate your worth and your time and your value and just understand that hey buying a thousand dollar seat hey buying a two thousand dollar seat hey buying a three thousand dollar seat is not a big deal if it keeps me safe that's one thing that i do want to stress we've raced this car too long with a kirky seat in it i'm very happy that we're gonna be putting a race tech seat in this thing so uh, we're loaded up in the trailer we got the projects we got the project pump we got the doors we got the front end uh, and we are going to get this thing down to hippie fabrication uh, don't have a lot of room here to show you but don't have to worry about getting cut up by a bullhorn no more that, those things are gone gone forever so r.i.p to the spike bullhorns but uh, what we're looking for is the zoomies coming out right behind the front tire so Two in the fender area and then two under the door. And I think if James can make that happen, he'll not only be our hero, but uh, he will be one hell of a fabricator because it's going to be a tall task. So everyone go check out James, Hippie Fabrication. Go follow him on Instagram and then just comment on his shit and say, hey, we want updates of the black sheep. And then it'll just force him to make updates of the zoomies as he builds them. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, James is going to hate me. I'm sorry, James. This is me telling you I'm sorry and I wish you luck. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Quick update of what we got going on. I got some running around to do, I got some work to do. The boys are out working. I'm out of here. We'll see you guys uh, in tomorrow's upload.